Hey everybody, welcome back to Above the Popcorn. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. I'm going to be ranking my top 10 favorite 2019 movies. Now, of course, these are not the best movies of the year. I didn't do any kind of poll. These are just what I consider to be the best. Of course, our lists are going to be different, but that does not mean that my list is incorrect. It's just difference of opinion. You know, film, of course, is very subjective. Now, all the movies on my list except for one that I do a review on, so of course, I'm going to link those down below just overall 2019 you guys has been like one of the best years in film quite honestly like like this video if you agree so this has been a long ass intro like always i promise to work on that 2020 so with that said let's go ahead and move on to number 10 and that would be 1917 since i saw it i really have not stopped thinking about it the story yes is not like the best right i mean you really don't have any real character development or any real connection to the characters but I just cannot get over the way that this movie was shot in. That just really has stuck with me. Alright, coming in number 9 would be Alita Battle Angel. This one was one that was really surprising to me, to be honest with you. I didn't um, know anything about it going in. This came out actually earlier in the year. I just can't stop thinking about this movie either since I saw it. This is actually the one that I don't have a review on. But it does have Christoph Waltz. And he's kind of like um kinda like a little engineer, doctor for robots. I don't know exactly what his deal is but he basically makes this girl alita he finds the head and then just kind of puts her together with this body that he ended up having for certain reasons i'm not gonna give you any spoilers she has amnesia so throughout the movie she's trying to figure out who she was in the past um she really has this really nice set of skills that she doesn't know how she has basically she's an awesome fighter you guys i mean my uh, sister saw it, we just fell in love with it again i went in not knowing nothing about the movie i just heard good things about it and when the movie finished i was just like wow coming in at number eight would be five feet apart yes i have a romantic movie in my list whatever don't judge me it's my list again like i said i'm such a girl when i went to go see this i knew i was gonna cry i did i was just like okay i feel like this is a movie i'm gonna cry yeah i know how i am about crying in movies i'm good for it if you guys follow me on instagram you would have seen my stories on there where i'm just listening after i just saw this movie you know and uh it's gonna be on my list you know so this is the movie i was talking about on my instagram stories you guys so i didn't say what movie it was kind of i guess like forbidden love because of this disease that they had they can never full on really be together that final scene like really having the ugly girl crying and i have no shame in it don't judge me if you haven't seen five feet apart definitely watch it it's good for your soul to let it out and cry you know Moving right along to number seven, and that would be Knives Out. This is a very modern day, awesome way of a whodunit type of film. Daniel Craig does an amazing job. I can't get over his accent, but the one who really stole the show was Ana de Armas. I said in my review, I knew who the killer was because I suspected everybody. Pretty much who ended up being the killer was one of my first suspects, to be honest with you. I, it's really hard not to say he or she then you're gonna know let's move on number six and i'm not gonna get a lot of grief for this because of how high up i have it at least i have it on my list you guys just just give me that much credit okay and that would be joker i mean joaquin phoenix did an amazing job portraying this character in that whole like interview scene wow but, i mean it really tackles how being bullied and being like set aside by society can really like mess with somebody's mind. I mean, he's obviously one of the front runners for uh, best actor at the Oscars, and it, it could go to him. I mean, it went to Heath Ledger, so it kind of me has given it to a Joker before. So this is usually where I give you guys my honorable mention. Don't worry, I still have those to come. But before I give those to you, I have a few surprising movies of 2019. I was actually going to be doing a video for most surprising. I just didn't have time. I mean, I possibly could have put it in there, but I've been so tired, you guys. I've been, like, trying to get these videos out. But these are the movies, kind of like Alita, went in not knowing anything or went in and I was just, like, not really expecting much and left the theater or after I finished watching the movie at home, I was just like, wow, like, yeah, that was good stuff. Coming in in fifth place would be How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. You guys had to have known I was going to have an animated movie in my list. I mean, it is mean. It. The Hidden World, I feel like they did such a beautiful job in closing Toothless and Hiccup's story. Like, I, I'm content. I was really happy. But this is another one that really 
brought out all the tears. And then coming in at number four would be Netflix's Marriage Story. And this story was just done so beautifully. You get this look into this couple who are divorcing and you see what happens when the lawyers get involved and how nasty it really gets. Now Adam Driver is who is basically up against and is toe to toe with Joaquin Phoenix for the best actor at the Oscars. I freaking love this movie. It's so great. The performances are absolutely amazing. One last thing, Noam Baumbach, the director, keeps getting snubbed. Moving on number three that would be the peanut butter falcon and I just freaking fell in love with this movie you guys I think it's such an amazing story. I really love how they gave Zach that independence and not Needing him to really depend on anybody because he does have special needs. But Shia LaBeouf's character and not caring that he has special needs and treating him just like any normal human being that is like well and dandy i want you to like come after me and you know like i have a brother with special needs and i just loved how they didn't make him into a victim how they really had him be his own person he wanted to be a wrestler he was going to go fight for that dream and try to make that dream reality as best as he could and he wasn't going to let having down syndrome put him down amazing amazing movie you guys definitely want to watch it's very underrated it's very surprising it's a very special place in my heart Call me biased if you want, I don't care, but to me, it was beautiful. Before I give you guys my final two, here's where I'm going to give you guys my honorable mention. In case you are wondering where the Irishman was, here's where the Irishman is. I know that I talked a lot. I talked this movie up a lot, you guys. I really did. I saw like 95 movies this year, give or take a movie or two. To get 95 movies and like just squish them down to 10 is very, very difficult. To really make it into my list, it really has to be very memorable, rewatchable, entertaining, had to have impact me in some way. So, The Irishman, yes, it does have a lot of those things, but it didn't necessarily impact me as much. I mean, I do love it, but it is like three and a half hours long, you guys. I don't really see myself rewatching it that much like I would everything else on my list, to be honest with you. The King is also on Netflix. Like I said, uh, Netflix had amazing movies this year. That movie is not for everybody. It has beautiful cinematography in it, but it is a period piece. Again, not for everybody. So let's go ahead and move on to number two, and that would be Ford v. Ferrari. I just, I love this movie. It was so entertaining from beginning to end. I think this is actually the first movie that I mentioned about being a contender for best picture at the Oscar but since then I've seen other movies that have kind of topped it a little bit more so if it got so if it does get nominated it would be like awesome and I would be like yes but if it doesn't I'm not gonna be surprised one pick what I consider to be the best movie of 2019 it is a Oscar contender as well it does have amazing performances that would be Jojo Rabbit Oh my god you guys like since i've seen this movie I've not been able to stop thinking about it this satire that taika watiti did was just brilliant i feel like jojo was a nazi in training until he basically blew himself up he hated jews you know he was ready to kill a jew and he found out that his mom was hiding a jew girl within the walls because that's what they were doing that time he really ended up finding out that hey jews are just like everybody else they don't have tentacles they don't have like razor sharp teeth they're not like the devil and the director actually she plays Hitler and he's actually the imaginary friend of Jojo. Yes, Hitler is somebody's imaginary friend. Obviously this movie could have been like a major disaster. This easily could have been like one of the worst movies of not just of the year but possibly of the decade given the topic of it. We get a nice little cameo from Stephen Merchant. He's kind of like who's doing the investigations and I, I loved it. And to me, Jojo Rabbit is the best movie of 2019. So this is my last official 2019 video. I'm going to put a list here of movies I did not get a chance to watch this year. I can't watch every single movie that there is, whether it be on Netflix or in theaters. I can only do so much after work and then on the weekends, you guys. So I try, I try, but I still managed to watch 95 movies. Here, if I still drank, I would have been doing a little shot. Actually, you know what? We'll be doing a hold on. Alright you guys, just imagine it has like tequila or something in there. Have a wonderful rest of 2019 you guys. I'll be seeing you guys at Concessions 2020. Salud y feliz año nuevo.